Hey guys, welcome back to another... See that guy right there? That's me, Neil Brown. I love to travel. I also happen to have no legs below the knees and only five fingers, but I have yet to let that slow me down. I'm in a place that I have wanted to come check out for a really, really, really long time, and I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but maybe I'll tell you later. So let's go. All right. Okay. I, I'm, I'm at Joshua Tree. I'm at Joshua Tree. Come on. Wow, that was an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous drive-in. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. If you get a chance to come here, make the drive all the way up to Skull Rock, which is where I'm at right now. See him right there behind me. We'll go take a look at him or her, whatever, in a little bit. Gorgeous drive. You guys get a chance to come up here, make the drive, do it slow, have somebody with you so you can take lots of pictures because it's amazing. I was only about five miles away from here at Skull Rock when I started seeing the Joshua Tree. I kept looking, couldn't find them, and then suddenly they just popped up everywhere. Now there's one right over here. Let's walk over here and take a look. These things are just dotting the landscape out here. All different shapes and sizes. They really look like a prehistoric tree. Almost a tree out of time. Maybe they're the, the Teslas of the tree world. Man out of time, tree out of time. I, if you don't get the reference, just look up Nikola Tesla. He was a cool dude. And I bet he would have liked these trees. There it is, Skull Rock. I've seen a few out in the desert in different places, but this one is probably the, uh, the most interesting. I don't know if I can get to it, it looks uh, it looks a little tough for me, but uh, I'll give it a try. Let's go see if we can get a little closer. That way I can't make. But I might make it around that way. Just a lesson to everybody that says, Oh, I can't do this, or I can't do that, or I can't make this, or I can't make that, or I can't do that. All I saw was that right there and thought, nope, I can't make it up that without scooting on my butt. But I got around here and I saw there's a, uh, a different path. And I still don't know if I can make it up it, but I'm sure as hell going to try.
Well, I wouldn't suggest uh, doing it the way I did it, but uh, if you have a camera monopod, it kind of makes a decent walking stick in a pinch. I made it up to Skull Rock. This is this is pretty awesome, guys. I've reached my limit right here. There's some rocks up this way. There's some really cool stuff to check out. But I don't think I can make it there. But the view from where I'm at right now is just how freaking standing. If you guys get a chance, you, you need to come see Skull Rock and just look at all the other rocks. I mean, that's, that's kind of cool. The rest of this is just, just amazing. I would not have been able to do that with my old prosthetic uh, vacuum pumps. Uh, these Cypress adaptive pumps really make it easier to go down slopes and negotiate terrain like that. I would have had a butt scooted down that on my other legs. So, thank you again, Cypress Adaptive. Get me to the oddball places. guys made it to school rocking back most people that may not seem like a whole lot that was a lot of effort for me but I made it a little bit proud of that I, I'm doing much better out here in the desert this year than I was last year. I still have a lot more to explore here at Joshua Tree National Park well after crawling around on school rock for a while I headed back down the road to the Live Oak Day Use area where they have some really awesome rock formations. Well, you'd think the desert in California would be warm, but it's actually mid 60s today and overcast skies. But I guess I'd rather be out here now uh, then in 100 degree temperatures with, uh, with the sun beating down on me. But uh, there should be some places for me to get to scoot out and go explore. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So really today is going to be more about 
me having fun and you guys just kind of get to watch. So I'm more than glad to take you along, but uh, you're going to get uh, the catbird seat view from the bike. Well, that didn't take long. This is cool. Reminds me of back home. Fat Man's Misery in Mammoth Cave. I'm in this little cave system. Let me just give you a looky-loo. The rock overhead. Little bitty tight space. You guys think I can make it through that? You want to see me get stuck and cry like a little girl? You guys don't want to see that. Yeah. Yeah, you want to see that. Come on. Back in the day, I used to be pretty good at crawling through tight spots. Ha! Ha ha! I'm the man. Sort of. Hey, this is cool. This is just, oh God, this is cool. Oh. This is gonna be interesting to get back. No, it's not. Hang on, I'll show you what I'm looking at here. So I gotta get back out that way. No problem. Now I might actually bust my butt on this, but we'll see. This is my first chance to really, really put my uh, new ankles to the test. Um, not out here in the rocks today, but really coming out here out west. So let's see if I can make it down this. Hopefully I'm getting my feet, or this is an absolutely wasted shot. Oh, that's outstanding. Ah! <laughs> no legs. No problem. Back to the bike.
You know, there's a lot of beautiful things out in this desert. I'm not certain, but I think I'm in part of the Mojave Desert right now. Um, but there's lots and lots and lots of wildlife and greenery, and there's even some grass on the ground, very sporadic grass. But, uh, you know, lots of rock structures. You know, where I'm standing at right now, you know, I just feel like if I stood here long enough, I'd see uh, John Wayne come riding up on a horse, tip his hat to me, and tell me, Pilgrim, I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> or he might just uh, punch me out for calling him Daddy. It's a Big Jake reference if you don't watch John Wayne movies. You at least need to go see Big Jake. Oh, wow. Now, this is a site. Hang on. You guys want... Those look like P-51 Mustangs. Now, I could be absolutely mistaken, but the profile and the sound sounds like a, like a single-prop World War II era uh, airplane. Um, I like airplanes. But uh, I am not an airplane aficionado. Something to keep in mind if you come out to places like this, or really if you come out anywhere, is to not get lost. And there are a few simple ways that you can do that. And a nice, easy way to not get lost when you're walking out somewhere is to stop and turn back and look back often. Look back, find a landmark, make sure you can see that landmark always. Once you get so far out you can't see that landmark, pick a new one so you know where, where you came from as, as opposed to just wandering and uh, not knowing where you're going. So for me... I know I've got these piles of rock right here on my right shoulder walking out, walking out here, and right behind me, I've got that big domed rock right over there. So although I'm not gone really far out, um, I still know where I'm at. Because I pay attention. So if you're if you're even just walking in the woods, pick a big old oak tree that you can see from a far way off. Make sure it's behind you. Keep looking behind you so you can see where you've been. So you don't get lost. Gotta tell you guys, this this I have really enjoyed. If you get a chance to come to Joshua Tree, you need to come to Joshua Tree. I think I'm going to spend the rest of my time here on my own. I'm going to leave you guys right here. I mean, I'm going to take my camera. I'm not actually going to leave the camera here. You guys know what I mean. I'm going to leave you here. If you want to see Joshua Tree, come out and see Joshua Tree. I can tell you, if you go to Ehrenberg to camp, Joshua Tree is an hour and 40 minutes away. It's day tripping. I've been day tripping out here. Didn't even bring the camper. I just day tripped. So you can make it out here. If you have a mobility assistance device of some sort, you can even make it out here into the desert areas. Well, that was a bummer. I had this super nice shot set up right there, and my uh, card, uh, memory card got full. I didn't realize I'd shot that much footage. So I don't know where I was at in the middle of whatever it was I was just saying. But I just want to say to you guys, if I didn't say it before, you do need to come out here. You need to come out to Joshua Tree. 
It's close to Ehrenberg. It's day tripable from Ehrenberg, no problem. And so all I can say is to you guys, get out here. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my time without the camera on. Thanks for watching today. And don't forget, no, I don't have anything really snappy to say this time except that I'm a Joshua Tree, baby. I'm a Joshua Tree. So no legs, no problem. Good.